Bushcraft 101, page 66. To sharpen the blade, attending to both sides evenly, as with a knife. If your axe gets a bad nick from a missed swing or glance, you may need a fine mill file to remove the nick. Then sharpen it with the stone. While using a file, place the axe in a stable position and push the file with the angle of the grind against and into the blade or away from it, depending on your preference. To remove these nicks or dings, slow even strokes will be both safe and accurate. Stropping an axe is unnecessary as a fine stone will make your cutting edge plenty keen. As with knives, grind or on axes varies and following the existing angle is best. Always carry wedges. Wedges are of great use in the woods for many tasks, but we will discuss just a few here. You can make them from wood, but it is highly recommended that you carry at least two prefabricated ones. Wedges made from ABS plastic materials are cheap and lightweight. They can be easily carried and can be a lifesaver. Wedges for felling. Once you make a felling cut and the tree starts to fall in the intended direction, place a good wedge into the felling cut and tap it in with the blunt end, the hammer pole of the ax. Of course, this should be done with care and never from directly behind the tree. Wedges for log splitting. When splitting a complete log, after you make the initial split ting cut, use several wedges to help split the log along its axis. Batten the wedges into the crack successively as the log begins to split. Page 67. Wedges to free your knife. At times, while battening or splitting wood with a knife, you will get your blade stuck in the piece being split. If this happens, place a wedge into the initial split and drive it in by batten to open the slit and free your blade. Tips and tricks for your tools. Number one, make an easy packable sharpening board by attaching 1200 grit wet slash dry sandpaper to a paint stick using double-sided carpet tape. Number two, if you break the handle of your axe and need to remove it for replacement, the best way to do this is by burning it out. Bury the actual cutting edge up to the cheek in dirt. Then, Build a small fire around the eye to remove the old handle material without removing the temper from the cutting blade. And here is a picture of wedges for log splitting. Shows the wedges on the outside and the big ones here in the middle.